Hi everyone, thank you so much for making your way back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different um, in the sense of it's not a makeup tutorial. What else? Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing something very similar to what I did when I did the video of my freelance kit. I literally forgot what I was talking about. I'm going to be doing something similar to that, but it's going to be my travel kit. So it's going to be what I take with me when I go on tour and when I go like, on holiday or if I go on like an overseas holiday or whatever the case is. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what I take with me, my thought processes behind the products I take with me, how I pack it, the whole spiel. So if that's something that you'd like to see, then keep on watching. If not, bye, because this is obviously not going to interest you if you're not interested in watching it, obviously. Um, so yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Spread the word, tell everyone that there's a gypsy caravan out there. Anyway, so let's just get into the video. I really wanted to wear this jersey and now I'm seriously regretting it because it's so hot in here. Oh, so, just a little background information. Yeah? Yes? Okay, so, normally when I do um, tours and things with my husband because we work now for the same company 90% um, of the time the show will be overseas um, and it all really depends on how long we're, go we're gone for sometimes the show can only be a week long sometimes it can be a few weeks long sometimes it can be months long which I just got back from I was gone for about two and a half almost three months so obviously for a trip like that I would pack a whole lot of more products with me but if I'm doing like a week tour then obviously I'm not gonna take my whole kit with me because that just doesn't make sense normally when I travel that big bag that you saw in my video if you saw my video um, I don't take that whole bag with me I take a smaller version of that and I'm a little bit more conscious about the products that I take I generally have like Three or four little guidelines I give myself or like little checklists or questions rather that I ask myself before I start packing my bag and that is how long am I going to be gone for so that I don't like overpack or I need to pack products that will work in my environment so basically what that means is because I'm going to be running around and steaming costumes I need something that's going to be long wearing something that's going to require minimal touch-up if I need to touch up and probably bring product that I can use in more than one way okay, so I think about things like that which refer to rule number one avoid overpacking okay so let's really now get into the video so the bag I take with me is this guy here this is a Mac travel case I think it's called and really all it is it's a really cool medium-sized cosmetics bag toiletry bag I don't know what you would call this but this is what I use so this is the size it's also a soft cover bag like my um, freelance kit but it's still very sturdy so like if I had to push on here you can feel that there is reinforcement and then of course it's got the little um, handle it does come with a shoulder strap but I don't see the need in using that because this is literally going to go either into my luggage or I carry it on the plane like this and then it's got these two zips to open up the bag so now let me just show you what the bag looks like inside it looks pretty small on the outside and looks can be deceiving because this guy holds a lot so when you open up the lid I have this huge ass mirror which I love I hate it when I open up a bag or a compact and it just doesn't have or even a palette and it just doesn't have a great mirror in it because just from previous tours and experiences I ended up doing my face 90% of the time in the car and sometimes I'm not always sitting in the front seat that has the visor with the mirror in so now I need to prop this on my lap so that I have the mirror in front of me 
so that I can see what I'm doing. And this is a great mirror for that. It's big and you can see what you're doing. And then when you look inside, you can see it's quite deep. My whole hand then. Even my arm maybe if I try hard enough. Anyway, so on the back of the bag here, it has this little zippy compartment that opens up and you can put things in here. And then when you turn it on the side, it has these little um, pockets. And then these little things here where you can put bottles. So like it stands up in the bag like that. So it's got that on both sides with a little pocket in here as well. And then the front of the case is just made up of pockets. So there's two here and then another two here. And then obviously you have all the space in the middle to just dump your stuff in. I'm going to give you a case study so that you can really see how I pack. So my next proposed show is in Ireland in end of September, beginning of, of October, if coronavirus lets us travel by then. Anyway, so we're going to use that next tour as an example to pack this bag. But because I'm going to be dealing with customers or um, uh, the audience who are watching the show, um, I don't want to look drab. That's just me coming from a retail background. You don't want to not look good for your customer or your audience because you are a representation of the company. Which is, and this is my absolute favorite, is really great glowy looking skin. Super easy eye. I have bleached my brows so now brows are out of the question. That's now not going to take any time at all which I prefer. And then just something to give the face a bit of color but that you don't look like. Like the sun hit your face No, no. We don't need that. That's my ultimate favorite kind of skin. It looks good. It's kind of the face I have on now and I know it's something I'll be able to do in the car, on the move, in 10 minutes, plus minus. Okay, so I'm going to pack my bag according to how I would put the product on my face. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention, is that since I am going to be traveling on the plane, depending on where this bag is, I need to make sure that whatever product I take is um, in line with the airport regulations in terms of like how many liquids you can bring on, how much of your liquid you can bring on and stuff like that. But I'll talk about that while I'm packing. So I've been told that nothing is in regulation. I'm going to confiscate your stuff. And I'm like, you dare do that. And they were nice enough to let me through. Just the last tour, actually, I almost lost my entire makeup kit because... I was an idiot and just didn't put it in my luggage, um, my checked in luggage, which I should have and did not. So it was a close call. Um, so I'll normally take an SPF with me or a face cream that has a high SPF in it. Um, so normally the two choices that I would take for that is I would either decant some of my SPF 50 from MAC um, because that bottle's just too big to take on the plane and it, it spills, which is why I just don't like that bottle. It just leaks everywhere. So I'll normally take a sample of that and stick that in my bag. Or the other option that I take is this. It's a Clinique face cream. Um, it has an SPF of only 30 in though, which is fine. Because I mean, that's not going to be like guns are blazing in the sky when we get to an autumn place. Um, anyway, but it's a face cream and it does have an SPF of 30 in it, which is nice. Because then at least I can use this as my moisturizer and my sunscreen. So then I would still normally take a moisturizer, this is my absolute favorite, it is strobe cream in the shade peach light because I know with this at least my skin's going to look moisturized, it's going to look dewy, it's going to look hydrated and at least I know with this I can wear it without a foundation if I am feeling super lazy that day and then I can just mix my concealer, a little bit of my concealer in with this and just like hotspot my face where I need it so and then of course obviously I'm going to need a primer you can always just get away with strobe cream as a primer but um I'm a little bit high maintenance so I need a primer so generally when it comes to a primer um I would normally if I am away buy a sample size of primer or like a travel size from like Sephora or Ulta of a primer that I already have or I'll just make sure it's a primer that I can travel with that's small and within the millage of what the airport wants. 
So this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I know with this I'm going to get the right amount of dewiness or glowy finish that I want on my skin. So I'm going to stick that right next to my stripe cream in that little pocket there. Cool. And then in terms of foundations, I will take two foundations with me. That may sound excessive, but hear me out. So, I normally take a liquid and I normally take a powder with me. Because I know this, don't care what I'm doing, don't care where I am, or what the situation is, I know this is going to last. And I know I can manipulate this product to make it look either matte or glowy. And also because it's so compact and sturdy, I know it's not going to break or take up too much space in my bag. And also because this is just my favorite foundation. Um, like I said, because I can either share it out or um, add more if I need to. And I know with this, I can take this in my handbag when I am on the airplane and just touch up my face there if I need to. So I'm going to stick this just in the meaty part of the bag. And then I normally take a small liquid um, foundation like this with me. If I want something a little bit more or if I really don't want to powder my face that day. Um, I just, I like having options. But I'm very cautious about the kind of options that I take. This I have used on tours before and um, previous travels. So I know this is great because I know this lasts on my face. I know I can also manipulate this product to either give me more coverage or to share it out if I need to. This looks super natural on my skin so it really makes my skin look great. Oh, um, This is the um, Revlon photo ready candid foundation i use the shade 200 in nude um, and also what i really like is that it's got these lids and that it's a pump because i hate having to like scoop out a foundation from something or to decant on my hand or to use my fingers to apply when i really can't do that in a car yeah. so got that in there right next to the other guys and then of course i'll only take one concealer with me this is my studio fix Smoothwear concealer because oh let me show you because it has the applicator so I know I can just apply it with the applicator and blend it out with a brush or something I don't have to scoop it out of a pot I don't have to pump it out or anything like that which again just adds to a mess free situation also the reason why I like this concealer is because it lasts 24 hours it doesn't move it doesn't crease on me also if I don't feel like wearing my foundations and I just feel like wearing a concealer, it's going to look sheer and natural on my face if I mix it in with my primers. But also I'm getting the coverage I need to cover the bags that one always gets when they are touring because we work whacked out hours. And it's a manipulatable... Did I just make a new word? What does that word exist? You can manipulate this product. Well, I know I can manipulate this product to give me exactly what I need. Cool. So that side is all full. It's got all the things I need. Now that we've got our face on, we can move on to brows. Um, like I said, because I've bleached my brows, I wouldn't normally... I, I wouldn't need to do my brows now. Um, which is better. I do prefer my bleached brows, to be honest. I know it looks weird. And not normal but for whatever re reason if I were to take brow products with me because I have my normal brow shades back then I just want to show you what I would take with me so let's just say I have bleach brows this is the only thing I take with me is my spoolie brush so that I can brush my brows up and set them with like my Elizabeth Arden or whatever that I take with me um or um like soap brows I would use the soap in the hotel to do like soap brows so the only thing I'd really take is my spoolie brush for that so the first product is my MAC eyebrow pencil um, I use the shade stylized because I do have an ashier sort of brow so this has the pencil on the one end spoolie on the other which is great because then that means I wouldn't normally need to take that brush which is one less product so I'd use that to fill my brows in. I would still need to set them, which means brow sets. This is a brow set from MAC and it is in the shade Beguile. I will always, always, always pair these two together. Also, if I am feeling incredibly lazy and don't want to fill my brows in, then at least I can just 
fluff them up and brush them up with this then I would use this this is the shape and shade pen from Mac in the shade fling this has the eyeshadow sponge on the one side and then that felt tip pen on the other this I would use this to create like more fluffy brows and like more feathery brows and more like natural boy brows but then I'd still set it with my brow set so I will always keep these three products together in that back zippy product uh, pocket moving on I'll discuss eyeshadows in a second um, because the way in which I pack my eyeshadows is kind of like a rounded off sort of thing but I'll explain that to you soon we'll come back to that at the end of the video okay so let's talk eyeliner so I will always take four eyeliners with me again that sounds so over the top but again let me explain so let's start with the first eyeliner this is the NYX faux white lavender blush inner eye brightener I didn't know it was an inner eye brightener I just found that out Oh, well, whatever this is a white pencil with a slightly pinky undertone I use this in my waterline to make me look awake then I take two pencils with me this is feline from Mac it's a black eyeliner pencil and then this is my Isabella Gostia eyeliner in brown that's just brown but it has this really cool little spongy guy at the end along with a sharpener which is great because if I do need to sharpen any of my pencils, then at least I've got the stupid sharpener with me to help me out. The reason why I take these pencils is because it's very easy to, cre to create um, like a smoky eye or an eye look or a smoky liner or anything like that on the go. Because the pencils are soft, they move easily, they smudge out nicely. So it's great to use if you want to, like I said, like if you want to do a smoky line like I've done today or if you want to do like a one color smoky eye situation that's the best thing to use for that if I do want to be a little bit more like mm -hmm, then I'll use a liquid liner and this is the brushstroke liner in brush black by Mac it's a liquid felt to pin sort of well actually it's a brush um, liner um, or if we have a day for sightseeing hello you need to look good for them photos then I'll use the liquid liner for that Normally, if I am doing an eye, regardless, pencil, no pencil, whatever, you need a primer. If I'm not doing an eye, then I'll just use concealer, because um, that one does set really well on the eye, the concealer that I packed. So I will take something like this, which is my 24 hour eye base um, primer from MAC. It's because it's in a tube, it's small, it's compact, um, a little bit of that product goes a long way. It makes for a great eye primer so that I know I don't have to worry about my eyes once I have my eyes on for the evening and I won't need to touch up as much as I need to if I were to use a different primer or no primer at all. So that's a great one to use and I've put that in this pocket here in the front. So it goes in these little pockets there. Onto lashes. So I take a travel size mascara with me this is from Mac it is the in extreme dimension 3d black lash mascara purely because it's just easy to travel with if I were going away for a little bit longer then I'd go for a full size mascara and I normally take my Too Faced mascara with me so for a longer trip I'd use a I'd take a full size mascara with me and it also goes in that back pocket uh, every now and then sippy sippy on the rare occasion when we do go out sightseeing or we go to like a fancy part of town like um, the last tour I did we had the opportunity to go into New York twice or for two days rather um, and the first night we were out we did like a lot of bar hopping and um, like restaurant jumping and stuff like that so obviously because we were in a really cool place and doing like a lot of bar hopping and stuff I wanted to look good so I did full face beat and of course the lashes came out I normally travel with one pair of lashes just because 
of those situations. Um, especially if you're going to be running into celebrities like we did. We ran into JCJ. Just casually. It was just... Obviously with lashes come lash glue and then I always take my tweezers Well, not my tweezers my lash applicators with me because I can't do lashes without these damn things. Oh The lashes I take are the 76's from Mac because they are dramatic but natural at the same time So they don't look overpowering, but it does look like you have a little something something going on My applicators in this pocket here with my mascaras and then the glue and the lashes go in these pockets here to keep them safe. Something recently is this one here because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. Um, if I contour with this, it doesn't look bad. If I bronze with this, it looks great. And this is the Bourjois bronzing powder. Yeah, the chocolate bar bronzing powder. I think that's what it's called. I really actually don't know because everything's in freaking French. But it's bronzing powder and it's the shade number 52. It does smell like chocolate and I mean it looks like a chocolate bar. And I just like the packaging. It looks like a little book thing situation. So I'll take this with me um, because it's in a good packaging. And I can use this in my eyes. I can use this on my face. Then moving on to highlighters. Again it depends. Um, if I'm going to be away for more than a week Let's say two or three weeks, then I'll take a highlighting palette. Um, normally My first choice would actually technically be my Mac one, but that one's just just a touch too big um, and I took that on my last tour and I Just found it to be in the way it just it got in the way because it's just just too big so I've now swapped over to my Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the Bar of Gold palette. And the reason why I like taking a palette is again, versatility. Because I want to have the option to create my highlighter the way I want it to. So in here, there's three gold highlighters. There's a yellow gold, rose pinky gold, and then a gold gold. Palettes are your best friends because it gives you options in a small container. And that's what I like. So I'm going to just dump that in the big part of my bag. And again, it will. I'll try and get like a travel size highlighter. Um, because I like buying the travel sizes from places. Not only because I want to try them out and see how they, how they work, but because I know with traveling, it's just the easiest thing to do. So I have a small travel size of Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. As you can see, it's. A neutral gold this goes with everyone's skin tone I'm gonna stick that in the pockets in the front do lips because lips is a little bit more intense and more dramatic so again it depends <laughs> I always say it depends on where I am or what I'm doing but literally everything falters and falls on that if um or when I'm traveling I will only take two shades of lipsticks with me and there will be a nude and a color and 90% of the time, the color that I take is going to be a red, just because it works with all eye looks. You can pop on a red lipstick with like a clean face and it will still look um, like very glammy and stuff like that. So these are the two shades that I would take with me. The nude I take is Burn Spice and the color I take is Carnivorous. If I were to take bullets, I would take... Um, Babe Town, which is my favorite nude from MAC, and Viva Glam 1, which is kind of like carnivorous, but it's a little bit lighter, it's more of a bricky red, again, because it's more on trend, um, so that does seem a little high maintenance, I wouldn't take a liquid and a lipstick, it would either be li the liquid lipsticks or um, the actual bullet lipsticks, I, um, I have, I am one of those few people that have really skew lips that I need to overdraw and such and such and such. So I would need pencils to do that with, especially if I am going to be wearing the red. So the um, nude pencil that I take is Oak from MAC. And then the red I take is Cherry. This is obviously a little bit lighter than Carnivorous. Um, but the great thing about the liquid lipstick is the applicator because the applicator has a little point at the top. You can use that as a lip liner and then fill in with the rest of the 
the, the actual fat belly of the applicator. Okay, cool. So let me just show you. So all my pencils and the blinders are in there. And then I've stuck my lipsticks in one compartment here. I never normally used to travel with a lip gloss um, or anything like that. So I've now made this part of my collection, which is the full-on plumping lip polish from Buxom Cosmetics. This is the shade Samantha. It's a plumping lip gloss. It is nude in color, so it's going to give you the shine. I'm um, pretty much what I've got on, but I, I'm not wearing this today, but it's sort of the effect that I've got on, where it's going to give you a touch of color, but it's going to plump your lips up a little bit more, so it looks like you have done something to your lips. Well, then obviously, I'm going to need to lock that all in and set it in. Um, normally, I would travel with a mini fix plus like this. This is just um, the best thing to take with you if you are going for a little while. Um, and also if you are going to be on the plane, you need this to hydrate your face because shit gets dry in that airplane. You dry out to a crisp in that airplane. So you need something to hydrate. So I normally take the travel size with me. But like I said, if I am going for a little bit longer of a time, then I will take a full size with me and then just throw this in my check-in luggage because this is not allowed on the plane. It will definitely always be Fix Plus because you can use this as a primer, you can use this as a setting spray, you can incorporate this into your skincare routine because at the end of the day, it's going to be dry in that airplane. Autumn is a drying season, you need hydration. So let me just pour you. So that goes in there. Um, and I'm just going to throw the little one there just for show. Okay, so lastly, I am all about face palettes. And the one brand I know that does do these palettes really well is NYX. So this is my Love Contours All Palette. So I'm going to show you two different options of how um, I take face palettes and my eyeshadows and stuff with me. So in packing my bag, I've got a lot of single item products in here with me. If... <laughs> If and when I am feeling very lazy, I will remove half of the stuff I put in my bag and just take this and let me show you why. So this palette is a really great face palette because it contains these items. So not only does it have a really great huge ass mirror to do my makeup with, it's an overall great palette because it has everything I need. So let me walk you through. So the nine eyeshadows, you, the nine shadows and shades you see here is really a small eyeshadow palette it contains mattes shimmers dark shades a black most importantly and a base color so i know that i would be able to create any look i want to just using these nine shadows depending on how i feel that day or what i want to do with my face that day then it comes with two highlighter shades and then it also comes with bronzing and contouring shades. So this one's more of a cool tone, this one's a warmer tone. Then these two shades here are eyebrow shades, depending obviously on what brow shade you are. You can either mix or use them separately. So that's why I really like this palette because it has half my kit already, right here. If I don't take that one, then I will make one for myself using my MAC palette. So this is a single large eyeshadow case um, and what's nice is that these are super customizable in the sense of you can choose your inserts and then customize it accordingly. So I have a blush insert in here and a, and a times nine insert. So in here I have a blush shade. I swap these out. I'll either put in a contour, um, like shaping powder, or a CCB like I have in here now. So this is Fleur Power from MAC. It's a pinky toned blush. And then this is Hush, which is a CCB, um, or a cream color base rather. And then, okay, so these aren't the eyeshadows I would take. I'm just using this as for demonstration. But then I would customize these um, eyeshadow inserts with eyeshadows that I know I enjoy, which would be 90% of the time browns and neutrals um, because I don't want to look too overdone and I need something that's fast and quick and easy to do. So um, yeah, so I will customize my own palette like this and then this will just go in there with me because again that eliminates half the problem of me having to take so many singles 
uh, single products in my bag that I normally customize as well is my medium palette like this it looks a mess because I've taken the insert out and in here what I'll do is I'll do the one side the blush insert and have a blush and a contour shade or a shaping powder and then I'll have a by four eyeshadow insert um, on this and then also by doing um, a medium palette it also again eliminates space or things that you are taking cool so let's talk tools very quickly and then we're almost done the number one tool that i absolutely love taking is my real technique sponge because you can use this dry or you can use this damp okay, so i can do a lot of things with my sponge and what's really great is is what real techniques has done now is that they've created a travel case to put your sponge in so that this doesn't get dirty this doesn't make your other product dirty so for eyeshadow brushes i have um two blending brushes i've got my 286 geo from mac and then i've got this slightly more denser blending brush this is also from mac but it was a collection and a brush set that they did a while ago for christmas so you won't find this one anymore but they do make these and the 217 brushes from mac in this size so I normally like to travel with the small brushes just because it's easiest to travel with and I can always just dump it in my handbag if I need to. Of course I've got a packing brush. This is the 239 Mini from MAC. So like I said, this is the size that the mini brushes come in. And then of course a pencil brush to smudge out pencils or to like smoke out under eye um, eyeshadows and stuff like that. A mini shader brush, this is the Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. It's a small little brush that I use for like inner corner highlights, brow highlights, cupid's bow highlights, sometimes my nose. Then of course for like my powder bronzers and contours and things, or even to apply my powder foundation um, to my face, then you're obviously going to need a good powder brush to do that. This is part of that same brush collection that came in a set of three. This is a almost tapered sort of kabuki powder brush. It's super fluffy, but it's also dense. This covers the mattifying aspect of the face, if I can even say that. A setting brush, I'd use this for my highlighters to set powder underneath my eyes if I'm, I'm not using a lot that day. So yeah, so those are pretty much all the tools I'll take. And then if I don't put them in like their own little small pouch, if I can't find one, then I'll just stick them in that back zip pocket um, in the bag. So at least they're lying flat and they're not going to get damaged. Let's travel with my selfie light because you can clip this onto something. You can clip this onto your bag like that. So that you can put the light on so that if you are in bad lighting or in a bad lit hotel or in the car you at least have a little light to help you see what you are doing so before we close up i always put a clear zip baggie in my makeup bag so that when i get to the damn airport again and i get into trouble um they can at least say well does this fit in this bag and then i'll put all my liquids in here and say yes it in fact does so what are you going to do about it and then i'll just put all my liquids in there and know that i am airport safe and in regulation cool so by the end of everything this is pretty much what my bag will look like okay so that pretty much completes this video i hope this was informative and it gave you some idea um to help you pack if you are going away for like that's probably a very insensitive thing to say because who the hell is going to be traveling this time? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I hope it was an informative video regardless um, and something that you can turn to when you do get the chance to actually go away on a holiday and such. This is how I would normally pack my bag um, if I were doing a tour or going away on holiday. Um, so yeah, I hope this was fun for you guys to watch i enjoy these kinds of videos because i like seeing what people have and what they do and just their thought processes behind everything so i hope this was for help this was helpful in some sense maybe when coronavirus leaves we can all travel the world happily together have a good one i will see you in my next video um it will be a tutorial yes, we love makeup we love doing makeup anyway so have a good one and i will check you in my next video.